Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, all happened quite quickly. Uh, spoke to Derek on, on Sunday. Uh, he came to my house in Winchester and we talked about the plans for the club and obviously a big part of that was making sure that the club were ready to, to go back to full-time training. Um, so that was a key issue for me. Um, you know, were the club happy to do it and wanting to do it and obviously that's all been answered and here I am today. I think that's one of your biggest attractions being here to, to make the club a bit more full-time, a bit more professional in that aspect. Yeah, listen, it's not, it's, it's not in any shape or form. Um, no criticising whatever's happened here before. Um, it's just purely my my perspective on it is that when I was at Sutton for, for those 11 years, the first three years I think were evening training and I, I just knew how difficult it was for the players to work and then come and train and take on the information. So when I swapped uh, to full-time training at Sutton, uh, it worked very, very well. When I say full-time training, it is just three mornings a week. You know, we're not full-time, but it's three mornings a week and um, you know that's enough time then I think to be able to spend with the players and, and work with them on all the aspects that you want to work on. When you consider the quality in the National League South, all four teams that have been relegated are southern teams in essence. Do you think sometimes going that more full-time approach is perhaps a key to success because there's so many good teams in there that won't get promoted for the playoffs this year? Yeah, I think the big thing as well is it's, it's what progress we're looking to make as a football club and the reality is that if we were to get back in the National League in the three years that I'm here, you're then ready to go into the National League as a, as a club that's training three times a week. So this wasn't just done for now, it's been done for, for the future. And, you know, as I said, I think people see a big, big difference uh, in terms of being able to be, you know, just, just to train more, be more professional and, uh, you know, and have more time with the players. It's, it's as simple as that. It's the worst great secret, obviously, you've been around at Sutton for 11 years. What sort of similarities do you find here than where perhaps when you walked in at Sutton those years ago? Honestly, uh, quite similar. Um, you know, Sutton needed a, a boost probably when I got there. I think they'd just been relegated to the Ireland Premier. You know, on this occasion, the club's been relegated you know, back, to the, uh, back to the National South, so I'm taking over a club that has suffered relegation. And my job is to, you know, is, is to try and get them back to where the board and the chairman wants them to be, which is you know, in, in the National League. Um, but the, the similarities are certainly there. Good non-league club, good supporters, good supporter base, you know, good facilities. Um, and like I said, we've got, a great, you know, we've got a build on that. Ian Baird coming into your season, Sean Gale is also going to be a part of the coaching staff. Do you think it was a mix of people that you know and people that know the essence of this club quite well as well? Um, no. I, I, uh, Baird is with me uh, because really we did it as a team at Sutton. We had our most successful five years with myself and Ian there. And he's very, very much a, a part of, of me and I am of him. So we work very, very well together. I think people described us as the odd couple at times. Um, but. Uh, whatever it is, it works very well, very well between the two of us. Um, Gailey, uh, I've known for, for many years. Uh, if I didn't rate him, I didn't rate him as a football person, then he wouldn't be part of the coaching team. But, um, you know, it's not about him being the essence of haven't, but it does help. You know, he understands this football club, um, but he's actually in the job because I think he's very, very good at what he does. And uh, it'll be a big help to myself and Ian as we go forward. What would be your message to the supporters today coming in? What, what, what do you want to say to them? Well, I just, you know, I mean, I said the same thing, I think, 11 years ago when I turned up at Sutton. I just want to get smiles back on the faces. Uh, I want people to enjoy the experience of, of coming up here. Um, you know, we'll be certainly available uh, after the game. The players will be in the bar after the game. You know, I'll be doing two or three initiatives to try and get supporters back in. You know, one or two of the signings that we're going to do, and I just want to get um, the community more involved down here and try and also grow the crowds. I don't see why, because we've been relegated, that our crowds should go down and should go up. Uh, we're going to play attacking football. Uh, we're right on the front foot, and as I said, I'm, I'm going to bring an energy and an enthusiasm uh, to the club that I bought to every club I've been at. Um, but listen, I'm very easy to talk to, uh, good or bad. I'll be available to talk to, and. You know, hopefully it's a you know it's a winning combination as we go forward. But don't be under any illusions. This is a difficult league that we're going into. Um, you know, we might be starting on a clean slate uh, as well with some of the players because of the, the change to training. So this is not an easy job. Um, there's other clubs, Maidstones and, and, and Aldershots and Dawkins and Billericays, Slough. There's many many clubs in that league. Con you know, Concord, Chelmsford. I can reel them off. Uh, there's some good clubs there that would also hope to get into the National League at some point and you know, we, we don't underestimate the challenge here but that's one of the main reasons that I felt going three mornings a week would give us the best chance. Well Paul, I think I'm, I speak on behalf of everyone at the club, the fans, supporters, welcome to Wesley Park and we look forward to seeing what's happening this season at the club. Thanks Henry, thank you. Mm -hmm.